This video is part of a series of how-to videos for the Amazon Fire TV recast system. On this video, we're going to show you several different ways to record a program or a series. In a previous video, we showed you how to set the parental controls, and we shared with you a tip that every parent should know. By the time this video is over, you will have learned several ways to record a program or a series. You will learn how to record a program using your voice, using the channel guide, while you are watching a program. That's important if you want to remember something, you can have the DVR be your memory. And we're going to show you how to record a program using your phone. And you might be wondering, why do I need to record a program any other way if I can record it using my voice? Well, I can tell you from personal experience, using the voice command does not always work. When you give a voice command to your system, it is transmitted over the internet to an Amazon server. That computer's algorithm will convert your voice command to a set of digital instructions and send it back over the internet to your Amazon Fire TV recast system. If the internet is very busy like it is on Cyber Monday or Cyber Week for that matter, sometimes your voice command never does make it to the Amazon server. When that happens, knowing how to record a program another way will come in quite handy. Show Channel Guide. Here's Channel Guide. You may have noticed that I did not use the word Alexa, and that's because I don't have to. I use the Amazon Fire Stick, and the only way to get voice commands to it is to use the push button on the remote control. And that's okay with me because I personally do not want any device in my home that may be listening to what's going on. Record Judge Judy. Schedule to record Judge Judy. A couple things to take note of here. You do not have to see the program that you want to record on the channel guide to record it, but you must know pretty much the exact name of the program. Another thing is, at the time of this recording or making this video, the default mode when you use a voice command to record a program, the default mode is to record the series. Also, when you record a series or a program, it's available on all the Fire Sticks or other devices that you use. Now let me show you how to verify that Judge Judy is scheduled to record. We'll go back to our Amazon home screen and we'll scroll over to DVR. We're going to go down to the bottom to those little icons and we're going to roll over or scroll over to scheduled recordings. When we look at the list, you would expect to see Judge Judy at the top of the list, but we don't. And that's because I scheduled those recordings at the top as priority recordings. And I'm going to show you how to schedule priority and edit your recordings in an upcoming video. When we scroll down the list, you notice that Judge Judy is scheduled to record two separate programs. And that's because, as I indicated before, the system default is to record the series. Now let's go back to the channel guide and record an upcoming show. Rachel Ray is coming up, so let's go ahead and select that. When we click on it, we have two options. Record the series or record the episode. Let's go ahead and record the episode. And by the way, when you go back to the list on the home screen, when you click on DVR and go down to your scheduled recordings, you might not see Rachel Ray listed right away. There seems to be kind of a delay. Well, let's go ahead and check it out and see if it's there. Let's go ahead and scroll down the list and see if we can find it. And nope, it's not there. But I'll bet you when we go back to the top, it'll be listed right near the top. And the reason for that is, it's very close to its recording time. And the next thing scheduled to record after that is ABC World News Tonight. Show Channel Guide. Here's Channel Guide. Now let me show you how to record a program while we're watching it. 
And notice as we scroll down through the list of programs that are on, you'll see red dots by Rachel Ray and This Old House. And that's an indication that they are recording right now. Let's go ahead and select Days of Our Lives. Anytime you have a program on your screen that you're watching, you can record it using the Options button on the remote control. The recording will begin and go back to when you first started watching the program. When you click the Options button on the remote, you'll have some choices on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and click on Record. Now we have two options to record the single episode or the full series. And by the way, the default mode for the system is to record five episodes that are first run and reruns. In an upcoming video, we'll show you how to edit series recordings so that you don't record reruns. Coming up next, I'm going to show you how to record a program using your phone when you're on the road or even at home. But I also want to invite you to leave your questions in the comment section if you have any, or leave your feedback. And if you think we did a good job on this video, a thumbs up would certainly be appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber, you should consider subscribing to see future videos. Thanks. If you want to record a program that you're watching when you're away from home, simply tap on the screen and you'll see a little record button pop up on the top right. Click that button and the program will start to record from the point where you started watching it on your phone. Another way to record a program when you're away from home on the road is to scroll down through the On Now section until you find the program and you'll see three little dots in the lower right hand corner. Click those dots and a record button will pop up on the lower left. Click the record button and now you're recording that single episode. You cannot record a series at this time from your phone. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.